Hello and welcome to another episode of Art Apps for the iPad. My name is Terry Dana Chikimak II and I am the theater professor. This week we're looking at an app called PhotoViva. It's kind of like a combination of art app and photo manipulation app. You use photographs, but in the end, you will indeed create art. And isn't that always our goal? To create beautiful art and pretty pictures and things of that nature? All right, go ahead, grab your iPad, grab your stylus, and why don't we jump right in? All right, so let's go ahead and open up Photo Viva. Viva Las Vegas, baby. There we go. Okay, and this is how we open up. You can see Photo Viva opens up to a nice menu screen. You can use camera or select a photo. And of course, there's information, inspiration, and settings. We're going to go ahead and select a photo. Hey, look at that. We have um, some wonderful photos of me making funny faces. So let's go ahead and grab one of the funny faces. Oh, that is one handsome fella. Look at him. He is simply amazing. Those teeth, brilliant hues of blue. And um, yeah, this was at the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival conference. I was in my hotel room and I was messing around with my phone, as you can see. All right, this is a very simple layout. And you can see on the bottom are where all your menu items are. And there's nothing else to clutter up the space other than our picture. If we hit the camera, you'll see that you can choose a different photo from either camera or photos. You can choose from inspiration, and you'll see if you hit that, you see some inspirational things that you can choose. You see what some other people are doing. We're going to X out of that. You can also share and then save. Lovely, lovely. Our second menu item deals with some settings. You can crop, you can enlighten, and this is essentially just a lightning tool or dark, or light, or dark. We're not going to do any of that right now. You can liquefy, and we, we really do enjoy... Whoa! I only get more handsome the more liquidy I go. Okay, we're not going to do any of that. Um, let's see, what else we have? We have oh, RGB, so you can start to adjust the hues. Oh, we have hue. Whoa! Whoa! We have, you can add noise, which we're not gonna add right now. You can adjust your shadows and midtones, which is actually kind of nice. Really darken the shadows, etc. You can do the same thing with your midtones. Darken. Is a new fit a great fit for you? Whoa, something yeah, just came up yeah, you can go in on my computer. Oh, okay. Gotta love commercials. Uh, I'm not sure how much of that actually picked up on the recording. Probably a whole bunch of it, but who cares? Uh, let's see what else we got. We got brightness, uh, and <laughs> it's brightness. Yay. Okay. We have ghost edges. Which is kind of creepy. Not something I'm using right now. We have blend undo. Okay. Interesting. You can watermark it if you want. And then we have Sharpen, Saturate. You know, you can sharpen as much as you want. Let's go ahead and sharpen. We will sharpen. You can adjust the saturation. So if you want it a little more vivid. And you can adjust Cool Warm, which we're not going to do. Okay. Now comes the third item. And this is probably the item that I think is most interesting and probably the coolest application to Photo Viva, and it's the paintbrush here. And you click on the paintbrush, and what happens is you get a new menu along the bottom. You'll see you've got a paint buck bucket, you have a brush of some sort, which you'll be able to pick. You have then either paint or the picture. Let us start with the way it's set with the picture, and let's pick a brush. Let's pick let's pick this brush, and we're gonna adjust the size to there. So what happens when you have the picture and you have this brush and you start to brush over, it uses that brush and it starts to create 
Oh, look, it's time to write in my journal. It starts to create a painterly feel. And all I'm doing is slide my finger around. So that's pretty cool, right? And then you can undo that if you want. And if you adjust the size, for example, you get a smaller brush, and you get a different look, OK? But here comes the really cool part. I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to hit the paint, the, the paint bucket. Now watch. You see auto paint here, bottom left? If I hit that button, it begins to paint the entire picture for me. And when I hit the check mark, it stops the paint process. So there we've got, we've got essentially a painting of my picture. I'm going to go back again. We can change our brush. So let's pick something like this one here. Make it fairly large. Pick the paint bucket again. I'm just going to let it go for a second. <laughs> we have a very grotesque looking me. Again, we can undo. You can also. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, I didn't mean to do fill center. I don't know what that is. Um, you can also do other things. So here we go. Fill center. You can fill the outline. You can fill the frame. So let's do this. You can give yourself a nice little frame around your face. And that's all in the paint bucket again. And now I got Flipboard popping up. Everything's popping up on my iPad. Uh, you can blend there. That's just giving you a new uh, canvas. The other thing that you can do, if we go back to what we were doing, is if we were to pick a color. So let's pick a color. Let's pick um, this red right here. And we go into our paintbrush again. And we're going to paint. And if we come now, if we come, One of the things I want you to notice is, is as I paint, the brush uh, jitters, right? Rotates, spins. But you can see where you can have a little bit of fun. And then if we switch over to my face, come in here and do my... And it really is an art app. I know it, you know, it looks like a photo manipulation app, but it really truly is an art app. Now, some of the things that you'll see here, you can copy the brushes, okay, if you wanted to. So here we go. I'm just doing a little bit of Clean up. And essentially what it's doing when you do the copy is it's erasing everything else, OK? It's copying the underneath of the, 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 the original picture, right? So as I come over here, it's almost like an erase. It's erasing the changes that I did on top and taking me back to my original photograph, OK? So that's what copy is. It's like a race. So you either have paint or you have a race. And we'll bring the size way up. And if I do this, I can get back all the way. But not to that. That's not what I wanted. All the way to my original picture. See that? All right. Let's switch it back to paint. You can pick any of these. And that is it in regards to that. We're going to X out. And then finally, we do have we have some settings and help. You can actually adjust the, the resolution of the image. 
And on open, you can start with, you could start specifically with a canvas rather than, so you could start with cream or photo or white. And you're probably wondering well, why start with a canvas? Well, if you come in here, and let's go to a cream canvas, then what you can come do is if we go into our paintbrush, pick this, switch to copy, and look at that. And that was, what, all of like three steps. I switched to copy, which is essentially a, a race over the top, or uh, another way to think about it is copy the photograph. And suddenly I have this very beautiful pa face peeking out. And you can do all sorts of fun things. So we could change the size. Let's get the size really small. Actually, let's grab this one. Grab the size really small. No, I don't like that one. <laughs> Let's pick this one. Size is pretty small. Too small. Size up a little bit. Let's actually switch to copy. There we go. And look at that. That is kind of creepy. So now we have two eyes peeking out. So my suggestion would be to kind of play with it until uh, you're done. And then, of course, you can come over and you can share it. You can see mail, Twitter, Facebook, Day One, Evernote, etc. Uh, probably a couple others in there, Google+, Tumblr, if you use any of those. Or you can just save it to your camera roll. All right, again, this is Photo Viva. And it is kind of a combination art and photo manipulator. It's something you can kind of have fun with. And things like I haven't done, I, you know, you can come in and you crop it if you wanted to. So that you're playing with a very specific part of it. Um, there's just, I mean, it's not, it's not a huge program, you know. There's not... A ton of things that you can do but there is a couple of things and and what I would suggest again just kind of play with it you can here's another thing you can do and I, I meant it so if you hold and then pull up you can adjust things like you can turn it into a sepia tone you can change the hue saturate it etc here and you can indeed change your color source you can add noise if you want to you could change all sorts of great things in there. So play with it. Tell me what you come up with. I would love to see here. I'm just I'm adding a big red box. We can, you know, there we go. Why you do that, no idea, but you can. All right, that's it for this week on the Theater Professor Vidcast. If you haven't done so already, make sure you stop by www.thetheaterprofessor.com and um, and enjoy the website. Uh, you know, everything on there uh, is for you. It is content for you to enjoy. If you are indeed enjoying what I offer on the website, I would encourage you to stop by the little link on the right-hand side of the pages called Patreon. Patreon is a way for you to kind of think of it as a tip jar. If uh, you enjoy what I'm doing, what I'm creating, and uh, you'd like to tip me, that is the best way. Remember, all the money that kind of go that goes into my Patreon, and um, you know the other ways that I, that I attempt to make some money with the website, I then put back into the website. So anything that you do do, um, <laughs> do do, chuckle. Anything that you do to help out the uh you know financially speaking does indeed go back to making more content and making better content so i do want to thank those already that do uh, support me uh, art rage and um art rage is my uh, currently my biggest funder and uh, i appreciate everything uh, in regards to that they're not my only supporter uh, understand uh, you know i've got uh, i've got a couple and um i want to you know, I want to thank everybody that does because, you know, you may, it may not seem like a lot 
uh, in regards to what you're giving, uh, but it, it does help a lot and, and allows me to really enjoy what I'm doing fit, here. So, hey, look, another freaking yeah, commercial comes it. on. This guy's gonna need a light all right, I'm all done with that. All right, that's it for this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything uh, that you do. I hope that uh, you're enjoying what I'm offering, and uh, I will see you in a video on Friday in a podcast on Wednesday, and in a blog post on Thursday. My name is Terry Danich Kamiak II, and I am the theater professor.